Alrighty there, my friends. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me as the host of Remedies. Uh, and you see, we're in Space Engineers, but we're not quite actually in the Space Engineers uh, just yet. Just yet. Um, so, I'm going to tell you a little bit of story, but before I tell you the story, today episode, what we're going to talk about is a couple things that actually gave me a considerable amount of trouble. Um, and that has to deal with uh, the copy, paste, delete functions within the game, and then also that deals with uh, the blueprints and how do we deal with the blueprints in the game. Uh, and, and I tell you that these things gave me quite a bit of trouble uh, in figuring out because uh, they did. It took me actually a couple of days, maybe a little embarrassed about that. Um, but had to figure out. So the story goes like this. As I'm going to teach you these things, uh, I set up this basics video not intending that it was actually going to turn into um, this rather long-standing type of uh, game that we have going here. And so something I want to show you in uh, the setup of the world is that you see we has um, these options right in here, but if we go back and we actually create uh, a new world, if, so if we exit out of this and we go to new world, we do custom, then you notice that what we has now is the asteroid amount. Well, see, Ramadi, because he did not think um, that our survival basis, or sorry, our basics world, uh, since I did not think that the basics world, I did not think I was going to be here very long. I thought it would be a couple, three, four video, and we'd be done with it. But that's not the case. I actually got to enjoying it, actually got to enjoying the world, and so what we've ended up with is uh, quite a lot of things. Quite a lot of things kind of clustered up into in my world here. Uh, so if you give me just a moment, what we're going to do is we're going to move this ship away from here. We're going to bring him somewhere else. We just, I tell you what, we just stick him right here. That's just fine. Um, and actually, before I came into this world, there was something that we should have uh, should have looked at. So in the world, if you're going to actually use the copy-paste functions, it must be enabled right here under um, the, uh, the uh, advanced settings. Under advanced is right here. You have to enable the copy-paste copy function. Otherwise, uh, when you try to hit the function, the key for the copy is Control-C. Um, Otherwise, you get the normal command, which is just C, which is lower yourself down. Um, and then uh, when you hit Control V to do the paste function, um, then something equally awkward happened. You just change um, the viewpoint like this if you're not uh, using the things. Uh, so we're going to do just a quick little video today highlighting some of these functions and what we are going to do with them. So uh, we utilize all of this, all of these functions they utilize through the blueprint menu. That's going to be F10 on your, your keyboard. So you see here that we have three different blueprint, one of them a large ship and then a couple of them the small ships. Well, if I'm going to create a blueprint, what I do is I'm going to come down here. We're going to stay under the F10 menu here. I'm going to aim at my cursor. As you see, it aimed at the ship right here. My cursor, we're going to hit the control C. And now I have a copy of this ship that is made, and I can go ahead and place it out here if I want. Uh, the other thing that we can now do, because I have hit control C, I have now copied that item onto the clipboard, so now we can create from clipboard. Now you see, I already had a copy of this blueprint here, it was 102, so the copy that we just made is this guy right here, the small ship 102 underscore 1. Well, I do not need him, so we can go ahead and just do the deletion for that guy. Now, obviously, with the copying of the ships, we can do uh, all of the functions that you would normally do. I can carry him around as I move, but I can continue to use all of the normal block rotation keys. So I can invert the guy around, I can spin him, I can do all sorts of just the fun, fun random things with this guy. There you go. Just do a little whirly gig for whatever reason. So, yes. Now, let's say I don't actually want to do any time. I can simply hit escape. That guy is now gone. So, let's highlight a couple of little things here. So, if I am going to create a copy of this large ship, my large mining ship right here, the potato masher, if I go ahead and put my uh, cursor on here, I go ahead and hit Control c and now we have copied this guy. So now as I go to fly away, since there obviously is quite a bit of things that are going on with this, um, even for my computer, we're having some problems here, and I have actually quite uh, a powerful computer. I don't know where I am. I'm caught in something. I don't know how to get out of here. We're just going to remove that. Oh my goodness, that was uh, that was that was 
Interesting. Uh, there we go. Okay, so here's our ships. Here's right there. Okay. So I was already aimed at him, so I can hit Control-C again. Now we're going to create this guy. Now, what I want to point out to you, you notice that over there on that guy, we have a ship on the top attached via a landing gear. My copying did not bring that landing gear ship over with us. So landing gear does not mean he's a part of the ship. It means he is still a separate entity. Under here in the ship, though, you notice that when I am connected via the connectors, that it is a viable ship, meaning that that connector guy is going to bring everything else with us. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, so just so you know, now we have the things copied, and then obviously in my F10 menu here I have each of the three things that we want to find interesting so let's um, before we go create ourselves a new world I spawned in one of the little jalopy guys here uh, it occurred to me that I have never had a proper slamming into an asteroid and I would kind of like to experience that with you so as a little intermission for us here today what we are going to do apparently my access is denied to this guy I don't know why that is but we're just going to do the old trick of uh, grinding the thing away, and now we do this again, and now apparently I still cannot drive him. Well, you know what? Screw you too, ship. Screw you too. I don't care. I don't care. Let's go get uh, the fighter ship that I have been working on. Uh, and actually, the fighter guy has been pissing me off because the engines here on the back, some of the engines keep doing the exploding, and I don't know why they're exploding. Uh, but uh, yeah, they do, and uh, that is pretty much all that you need to know about this guy. So yeah. Uh, so here, let's see here. We can go ahead and switch off. There we go. Uh, so now let's back away. Let's back fairly far out from this guy with the attacker. We're going to aim ourselves squarely at this asteroid over here, and now just accelerate. Uh, let's see if we can hit the maximum velocity as we can before we go ahead and slam into the asteroid going full speed. This should be super fun. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we blow up with this guy. Boom! That was not nearly as uh, interesting as I thought it was going going to be. I sheared off the front of um, those guys. Uh, we lost some of this here. That was kind of anticlimactic, wasn't it? That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, so let's exit out of this guy. We saved. No, we don't do the same changes. So now, as you notice, we saved everything over on to our clipboard. Uh, so, Ramadi needs a new world. And I need a new world for a couple of uh, the reasons. A couple of the reasons. Um, the first reason that I, uh, I need this, uh, I need that this thing is... Um, because of the asteroids. In the old world, I only had four period asteroids. I purposely did that so it would not be a very difficult world to load. It would be easy on my computer, easy for the recording. But I didn't think I was going to spend any appreciable amount of time there. Well, the normal world with four large asteroids means I do not get uh, anything procedural. So in the infinite world with high density asteroids, um, you see that uh, we're going to get uh, generating into the world, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, the other most important thing that we really need to talk about will come up in a moment, but that's okay. So to spawn our new world, we're not actually going to spawn platforms or anything else. We are only going to spawn into this asteroid right here. And uh, we're going to create the world, and then I'm going to have to pop back out of it because we did not do any of our advanced settings, and that is my mistake. Uh, but with those advanced settings, something that uh, we need to do is we need to enable the copy and pasting of what is going on. So here in the YouTube world, let's go into uh, edit settings here. Now you notice you only get to choose that asteroid at the very beginning of this guy, which is uh, a little frustrating. That. Um, so now let's come down here. We're going to bump this stuff up just because uh, I know I like my realism, but uh, for the sake of you guys, we make it not so annoying. Uh, now you notice that I have to go into a creative world in order to enable copy and paste and so we're going to do that uh, right here there we go um, for right now we just disable the cooldowns uh, and now so we can go load uh, my YouTube world into here now while this loading the other reason I need to do this uh, my other world I only had the four asteroids so yeah I'm going to run out of space um, but uh, the re update not this week update but a couple week ago update uh, do I not have inertial dampeners off or something? Or the ship does not have inertial dampeners off. Okay, so we need to put those on. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, so there we go. Much better. Anyway, so the, the recent update, not this last week, but it was a week ago Thursday. Uh, in the update, we got into the game um, the, uh, the ice, all of the ice, to, and, and we need the ice in order to make the oxygens. Well, there's the ice right there. There's a big old chunk of ice right there. You see that um, I, um, I did not have any ice on the old world, and I very much want to play in an environment where I, um, I actually get to play around uh, with the oxygens and making the compressed and controlled environments and all of that kind of jazz. Okay then, so here we go. Uh, now to put our old things into this new world so that we don't have to do them again. Um, I can go highlight my ship right here, which is perfectly fine. I hit OK. And now uh, it's going to take a moment, but what I'm going to do is I hit Control V and we're going to paste this guy here into the world. Right there he is. Uh, and now we're just going to rotate this guy around just a little bit, I think. Uh, we're going to get him kind of orientated, if that's even a word. I'm not sure it is. We're going to get this guy orientated uh, in the way that we kind of want him oriented. And I don't really know what uh, what way I want him to be facing. You know, I don't guess it maybe ultimately really matters. But uh, you know what? This right there uh, looks as good as anything. So there we go. We have now pasted this guy into the world. Now, if I wanted to do so, I could go ahead and into here. I could click onto the small ship, load up that blueprint, and now I could paste this guy into here as well if I wanted to. Um, we're not going uh, to do that r right now. We're just not going uh, to do so. So, it, uh, yeah, for whatever reason you want to believe, we're just not going to do. Um, so into the new world we go. That means I also have to reset all of my bars, which is a little bit disappointing, but that's okay. Um, so uh, let's go in here then. I put all of this stuff on the dark side, and it was on the light side before, so we have to kind of deal with that, which is not a big deal, I suppose. We just turn our lights on. There we are. Um, what we can do with the blueprints in addition to all of this, and I kind of need an open flat area, so we're going to go up here maybe on uh, top of this guy. It's not going to be permanent, obviously, and that's okay. Um, did I carry? I don't have anything carried over in my inventory, so I tell you what, let's go get our builder ship. Uh, one neat thing about uh, the blueprints and all of that stuff is it will go ahead, if I pop into here, uh, it is going to go ahead and carry over all of the inventories that we originally had in here. And that is just a nice little feature for us. So I don't have to... Oh, I left those on. That's really good and super dangerous and not deadly at all. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and get uh, build the ship out of this guy. Let's get build the ship over here. Uh, I could just go up and over, I suppose. So here we have a nice long uh, thing, but it has unfortunately got some glass in it. So let's... Um, Go over here onto this side, I suppose. And I kind of have to get all orientated again, so this would actually be the top of it up here. Um, so what we can do now, I popped out the wrong side of my builder guy. Uh, what we can do is we can now go get a projector. And um, what the projector guy is uh, going to do for us is he is going to allow us to load blueprints into him. And then by using, uh, in conjunction, uh, the projector and also, um, I need to go back to all blocks and now I don't want to go and find him. Let's go ahead and search projector block. There we go. We also got apparently the programmable block, which I don't want just yet. I'm not quite that good. Uh, and uh, yes, so there is our projector guy. So let's... Um, Oh, because I'm still in creative mode. Of course I am. So I didn't actually need any of that. That's okay. Uh, so what we can do with our uh, projector, with the hologram projector, is that we can go ahead and load the blueprints into this guy. It will then obviously project him where we want him to go. Uh, you need to maybe go away, projector mans. Uh, let's see if we rotate this guy around at all, if that is showing up on different things. Not so much. It does not look like. Okay, interesting. Uh, but yeah, so we can use this in conjunction with some welders to make a 3D printer guy. So if we have, uh, let's say, a fighter ship that uh, we want to bury into the bowels of a large carrier, and we want that carrier to go ahead and just mass produce our fighters, well, it's very simple to do. We just load up the blueprint into projector, we build a 3D printer guy, and then uh, we let them kind of go to town uh, with all of that stuff. We just keep making our fighters in that way. So. Short episode for today. I know a little bit confusing. Probably not uh, the best 
uh, tutorial that I have ever done. Um, but I wanted you all to be aware of what we were doing, why Ramadi was moving uh, the servers around just a little bit. We're moving just to a different world that has many, many more of the asteroids, uh, be able to sustain us for a longer time, and most importantly, something where I can start the mining of, um, of uh, the ice because we need the oxygen. So. Hope you enjoyed for today anyway. It was pretty short and sweet. Uh, maybe I'll see you here over the weekend. We do a couple videos that might be kind of fun, might be kind of nice. You know, maybe we keep our options open. So as always, I appreciate uh, you for being here. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.